With the release of B-Theme version 26, we've introduced an entirely new way of positioning content in wraps and sections. The previously used Equal Height Wraps option will now become obsolete and be replaced with native CSS Flexbox. This means excellent content flexibility, quick loading times, and better compatibility. Let's jump into the video tutorial to show you how easy and intuitive it is to build using Flexbox in the B-Builder. As you can see, we have already prepared a simple section with three wraps to work on. The section and columns also have a solid background color to visualize better what happens in different positioning options. To begin, we'll go over the section Positioning Options. You'll find them in the Advanced tab when editing a section. The content position lets you align all wraps inside to the top, bottom, or center. Now, please remember that if the size of its wraps determines the height of the section, then the content will have nowhere to move. This also includes adding padding to the top and bottom of the section. That is why we have set a custom height in the Dimensions tab. This way, the content can stick to the top, bottom, or stay centered in the section. You can change the positioning options for desktop, tablet, and mobile devices separately using the preview options. For better user experience, we also added preview mode icons next to the positioning options. Moving on, we can see the wrap's vertical spacing preferences. Those include top, bottom, center, and stretch options. As you can see, this changes the wrap's position relative to each other. If you want all wraps to be the same height, use the stretch option. Horizontal alignment lets you position the wrap's left, center, right, space between, and space around. But as you can see, nothing happens when we click on the options, and that's because the wraps take 100% of the width of the section. Each wrap is one-third of the width. Let's modify this layout to test out the horizontal positioning options by simply changing the width of the first and third wrap. Great! Now we can see some free space on the right-hand side. We can move wraps right, center, or use the space around and between options. Space between will add equal distance between the wraps, making them flush with the grid width. Space around, on the other hand, will add equal distance to each wrap, but this time to both sides, thus making it not flush with the grid. Okay, those would be all of the positioning options for sections. We can now focus on the positioning options for individual wraps and their content. Now, before we begin, remember that we're using the center option for vertical spacing, and the wraps are positioned center relative to the section height. In other words, they're in the middle, centered vertically to each other. Every wrap can be positioned in that area individually. Wrap position lets you change how the wrap is positioned relative to other wraps. We can move it top, bottom, center, or even stretch it. Notice that the wrap position is bound to other wraps. It will not extend out of its area. Simply speaking, it cannot stick to the top or bottom of the section in this case. The next group of positions refers to the content inside the wrap. They only work if the wrap position is set to stretch. For example, in the first wrap, we only have one image. So let's set it to be centered and move to the third wrap, where we have more items to play with. First, we'll stretch it and go over all the options. The top, bottom, and center options are pretty self-explanatory. Moving on, we can set content to stretch. When this option is selected, the content will fill the entire wrap. Space between makes the elements spaced around the wrap, keeping equal distance between them. Space around works similarly, but adds space to the top and bottom of each item. Please consider that every element in the builder can have its margin or padding, which will be considered when calculating the distance. This means that all positioning options will work correctly, but it may not look even to the human eye. The last option is Space Evenly. 
it will center the elements vertically and give equal spaces between them relative to how much space is from the top and bottom of the wrap. Basically, all the spaces will be identical, as we can see in this example. Elements Vertical Align will adjust the content position in a wrap, but only for elements that are sharing the same line. In other words, we can have two items next to each other inside a wrap. To show this, we've prepared another section to work with. Here we have a single wrap with an image on the left and a text editor on the right. Since the text item is smaller than the image, it will position itself relative to it. We can place it on the top, bottom, center, as usual. However, we can also make it stretch. This makes the item as tall as the tallest element in the same wrap. In this case, it is the image. The last option is necessary to align content horizontally inside a wrap. Again, we have prepared another section to visualize those properties better. To make things more precise, the text items have a border around them so you can see how much space they take up in the wrap. By default, the horizontal alignment is set to left. We can also center or move it right. Space between will give equal distance between items in the same line. In this case, the two text boxes at the top and the button on the bottom will space apart evenly. If we add another button, we will see that the space stays equal between them. Space around will work similarly, but it will add distance to each item's left and right sides. Including Flexbox into the B Builder was essential to push forward a more unified and widely accepted method of positioning content. Thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. If you have more questions, visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.